At the Magic Olympics, magicians from around the world compete to be deemed the world's best. To win, they must fool each other. Every three years magicians from around the world compete in the industry's most prestigious contest, the World Championship of Magic. The event is packed with performances, lectures, and classes, like this one by taught by Jeff McBride, founder of the Las Vegas-based Magic and Mystery School. Welcome back to our channel, Magic Enthusiasts. Prepare to be astounded as we lift the veil of secrecy surrounding the world of magic. In today's captivating video, we're going to explore the intriguing question, how does a magician trick other magicians? Join us on this incredible journey as we uncover the hidden techniques and mind-boggling secrets that lie within the realm of magic. Let's dive in, to understand how magicians trick each other. We must first grasp the concept of misdirection. Misdirection is the key to any successful magic trick and it involves diverting the audience's attention away from the secret moves and actions of the magician. But how do magicians accomplish this when performing for their fellow illusionists? Let's find out. One of the most common techniques employed by magicians to deceive their peers is by utilizing complex card tricks. These tricks often involve a series of sleight of hand movements that are imperceptible to the untrained eye. However, when performing for other magicians, the difficulty level is significantly increased. They must incorporate additional layers of misdirection and utilize advanced sleight of hand techniques to keep their colleagues guessing. It's a battle of wits and skill. While sleight of hand is undoubtedly a crucial aspect of magic, psychological manipulation plays an equally significant role in tricking other magicians. The ability to understand and exploit the human mind is an essential tool in a magician's arsenal. Let's explore how they do it. One method employed by magicians when performing for their fellow magicians is the use of dual reality. Dual reality is a technique that allows the magician to create different experiences for different people simultaneously. While the magician may be performing a trick that seems straightforward to one observer, another magician might witness an entirely different illusion. It's a fascinating way to keep their colleagues bewildered and questioning their own perceptions. Magicians are known for their individual performances, but when it comes to tricking their fellow conjurers, collaboration takes center stage. Let's explore how magicians work together to create mind-bending illusions. When magicians perform for other magicians, they often devise elaborate collaborative illusions. These illusions require meticulous planning, coordination, and seamless execution to keep their peers guessing. By combining their skills, knowledge, and resources, magicians create awe-inspiring spectacles that leave even the most experienced illusionists spellbound. World Championship of Magic, also known as the Magic Olympics got its start in 1948, and nearly 100 magic societies from 50 countries participate today, representing around 70,000 magicians. Developing an act for the World Championship is nothing like performing for a typical audience. Most people don't see magic that often, so even basic effects astound them. Among veteran conjurers, though, tricks are almost always decipherable, if not in precise mechanics, then in theory and technique. These guys see hundreds of magicians all the time, said Bertil Fredström, a Swedish magician who has attended every FISM since 1973. To impress the room, you have to do something different. Winning FISM requires more than merely fooling other magicians, it demands a new technique, a compelling story, a hilarious twist. And so some performers wove narratives at times surreal and poetic. One Japanese magician romanced an empty shirt that somehow wrapped her in its arms. A 15-year-old German student who goes by the name Magic Moxel dueled with a soft-boiled egg that seemed to come alive while he pretended to get ready for school. Others opted for simple, self-deprecating humor. I spent $2,000 to be here. One French competitor deadpanned, munching fistfuls of potato chips while pulling the four queens from a messy pile of face-down cards with inexplicable ease. This appearance of effortlessness comes only after years of grueling practice. For four months before FISM, a 34-year-old Chinese magician and former acrobat named Ding Yang had holed up in a dinner theater in Niagara Falls, Canada to practice her routine with Canadian magician Greg Fruin. Because of China's COVID-19 quarantine requirements, she hadn't traveled back to see her husband and son. They would catch up on FaceTime as she practiced maintaining her handstand. Her many rehearsals paid off. When the curtain rose on Ding, she danced inside a circular frame of intertwined vines and leaves, conjuring lived from handkerchiefs, balloons, and her bare hands. 
Then she stood on her hands and bent one leg. A dove burst forth from a bundle of silk handkerchiefs on her foot. She lowered onto her back, the dove still perched on her heel, and kicked up her other heel. Another bird emerged from that foot. The crowd went ballistic, the lights faded, and when they came up, Ding delivered her grand finale, she waved two silk handkerchiefs, and two full-size bird cages containing fake dove suddenly appeared in her hands. As a vegan I'm not into animal magic, but that was absolutely ridiculous, said British magician Ben Daggers, one of the onlookers. In the pursuit of perfection there's never enough rehearsal time. For years, Anka and Luke Kalushin had been practicing the complex techniques needed to pull off their mind-reading routine while doing the dishes, driving, and raising two sons. It also had meant enlisting as volunteers a family of Ukrainian refugees they were housing in their home in Vienna, Austria. The evening before their performance, the Lucians rehearsed with three volunteers snatched from the convention center's lobby. Luca passed out pens and slips of paper and asked each to write down a wish and personal details. He collected them in a dish. In the performance, he lighted them on fire. A blindfolded Anka that addressed each spectator, calmly stating their unspoken answers, a dream vacation destination, a birthday, and the name of one volunteer's wife. Any feedback or critiques? She asked. There was none. The trio sat with their mouths agape, learning new magical secrets. Even though Fism is a contest at its core, the onstage tricks are only a fraction of the allure, it's the secrets attendees are after. Every evening until 2 a.m., dozens of magicians gathered in the basement of the convention center, which transformed into a freewheeling jam session where magicians swapped tips and tried out their latest tricks. One night, as a Bangladeshi magician pulled cards from his mouth and an Iranian-Italian magician in a long linen robe waxed poetic on psycho magic, a 19-year-old Argentinian named Carola Scalaba performed an immaculate card routine winning the approval of the jam's elder statesman, a Scot in oversized, purple-tinted glasses and a Midwesterner with forearms like tree trunks, both experts at the card table. Skolaba and her magic partner, Alejandro Bonacera, spent four years raising the $5,000 needed for their registration fee, flights, and hotel to perform at FISM. The chance to compete in the close-up category, where zoomed-in cameras scrutinize every move, was worth it. It's a way to show the big magicians you can do it, Skolaba said. Some nights, magicians fraternized until the sun rose. One night at 3 a.m., FISM competitor Shane Cobalt gathered some friends in his hotel room. Cobalt, a professional Canadian magician, showed off a small paper cutter with a hefty swinging blade, a rare purpose-built device to trim playing cards for certain kinds of magic tricks. Its cuts are so precise, yielding nothing but white powder along the blade's edge, that only the most highly trained fingertips can find the trimmed cards within a deck. You get to a certain point where you get so, so fine, you have to trust the card, Cobalt told the room. Socializing aside, what keeps magicians coming to FISM is the hunt for a feeling they had as a kid when they first saw a magic trick, when their minds bent to accommodate an impossibility, a break in the everyday world's physical laws. So by the time FISM's winning acts were announced, they came as little surprise. Each of them had triggered the sensation of seeing something magical for the first time, even Coronel, who took home one of two Grand Prix prizes for his linking card trick, understood why he won, despite not expecting it. It was because his trick, which he'd been developing for more than 10 years, was one he wished he could have watched as an unwitting audience member. For decades, Coronel has been searching for what he describes as the promised land, a moment of awe so inexplicable, it hints at a universe where magic really exists. It's a hit magician seek like junkies. Unfortunately, to give that feeling to an audience, he had to sacrifice his own experience of it. It's one of the tragedies of magic, he said bittersweetly. You make a Faustian pact. By learning to do it, you give up experiencing it. On the final evening of the World Championship of Magic, Coronel sat perched on the auditorium stage steps, holding a glass trophy engraved with FISM's logo of a hand levitating a globe. His fellow winners, including the dove magician Ding Yang, who won most original act, and first place medalists Sanka and Lu Kalushin, crowded around him. Coronel's face was wet from tears of joy. It took nearly an hour for the well-wishers and selfie takers to thin. Coronel didn't feel the power of his trick, but he felt the power of what it achieved. That night, 
as the last magicians dispersed from a celebration at a nearby hotel bar, a Finnish competitor approached Coronel with a fist bump. Thank you, he said. I felt like a little kid again, and there you have it, the secrets behind how magicians trick other magicians. From the art of misdirection to psychological manipulation and collaborative illusions, the world of magic is full of surprises, even for those who perform it. We hope you enjoyed this mesmerizing exploration into the mysterious realm of magic. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an enchanting update. Until next time, keep the wonder alive.